Hello everyone, my name is Sonia Kandilwal and I'm a mental health therapist in KDCEA. I work in Little Buffalo School and today I'm talking about Vision Board. A few years ago, I watched a secret movie which was really inspiring and I learned from that that whatever you want to give to the universe, the universe will give you back through the Vision Board. So the purpose of making Vision Board is to set up a goal and you can set up a goal with like a cutting of pictures, making a collage kind of thing. You can see that again and again every every day. So you can display it anywhere that you can see it. So that will go again in your subconscious mind, then your dream will come true. That is the law of attraction, which is really inspiring and which really benefits everybody in the life. I made a, my own vision board and I displayed a lot of pictures and my dream came true. So this is not actually making a dream come true, but the thing is that you have to set up the goal. So the vision says your vision can be like six month vision or your vision can be like one year or five year, whatever comes to your mind and you think that you want to achieve that goal, you can put that picture in your vision board. This is my vision board. Um, to give you a little bit of background, there was a time in my life where I saw the world very dark and cloudy. My mental health wasn't so good. And so I worked really hard to bring my mental health up and to see the world in more of colors and peace. So that started, and I have to always remember, love, light, and laughter. So I try my hardest to um, find the good in everything. I need to start changing my eating habits, so I'm going to start to eat more fruits and vegetables. Um, my dream paradise is to go to um, some place like this and just spend some time in the water. I'm drawn to it and it really helps energize me. Under the rainbow is just taking some time to remember that there's always light at the end of the darkness. Um, I need to work on my health, so being more healthy and um, being happy. And I have to show myself some self-love and that's something I work on daily. Um, doing these videos has both been amazing and fun, but I can look at them and really beat myself up as well. So I, I change my thinking and try to show myself some self-love. Um, I want to always um, be around water and have a pool party and just be happy. I also want to, whenever I can, reach out to others and show them love and support. And that's a big goal of mine is to Make sure everybody that I meet and that I come in contact with feel supported, feels loved, and feel accepted. And if I'm doing that for others, then I can also pass it on to myself as well. And I can't pass that on unless I can do it from within. I focus on the sun to, um, there's always light, always light. So I have to put a sun there to remind myself that when I'm going down the dark rabbit hole to turn around and come to the light. I have my vision board here. And so the vision board that I did is the five year plan vision board. So you'll kind of notice a little bit here. So I put the month and the year just so that I can kind of keep track a little bit of what the vision board timeline is for me. Um, and then down here I put 2020 to 2025 just to give it that little block of time. So I love sparkles and I love the color blue. So that's where my uh, little butterflies came in. So my five year goal is to actually get um, a little acreage or a little piece of land that I can call my, my permanent home. And it's going to be very important for me to actually have a water, like a little waterfront in front of my place, as well as trees. So that's really important to me. So in this picture, I have the waterfront and the trees as well over here, just because it's the more pictures you have, I really like to emphasize that. Right now I don't have a garage, so it's definitely in my five year plan. Um, so a garage is something that's important. And in my papers, I couldn't find an actual garage. So I just found the word and voila, there it is. 
So the other thing I would love to have in my home is a spiral staircase. So I don't know if you can see right there, but there's a little bit of a spiral staircase in my picture. Also, if you're gonna have an acreage, I think it's gonna be very important for me to have a quad or a trike or anything like that. So on the bottom there, I actually have a little yellow trike that I've added to my um, vision board. So yeah, so this is actually my five-year vision, vision board and then I just added little things here and there just to add color to it. So there you go. So thank you so much. Bye. All right, so this is my vision board. So this is my family. I want to take care of my family and I want my family members to be very happy. So I just put like happy faces here. I want to be regular in my yoga and meditation exercises. So this makes me remind that you have to do something. I want to continue with that so I cannot be lazy. This gives me motivation and to move ahead. And this is my dream car, Audi, which is basically from long time I'm looking for this car. And then uh, I want successful in College of Alberta psychologist. I have to give a couple of exams to be a registered psychologist, so I have to focus on this goal too. And my future goal is to give lecture in Stanford University, which is my dream from long time. On the other hand, I this is my dream house, you can see. And then I really like TED Talk, uh, listening TED Talks, and I want one day to present myself in the TED Talk. All these things, I want to spend my life really happily and listening music and relaxing. Thank you so much. Hi everybody, it's Damien. I'm the mental health therapist at Kudat Lake. And today we're doing vision boards, so I thought I would share mine with all of you. Kim, Sonia, and Sally all shared about having short, medium, and long-term goals on their boards. So I decided to incorporate all of the above. So on the top is short-term goals, in the middle is medium-term goals, and on the bottom are my long-term goals. I'm not sure if you can see it, but right here it just says relax, and that's kind of where I'm at in my life right now. I'm just relaxing, going with the flow, and um, dealing with things on the daily. I also have here some mountains. I've been to the mountains already a couple of times during this pandemic, and I definitely want to go back. And I have Spider-Man just for having Spider-Man. In the middle here, I have on the very far, I, I do want a dog. This one here is a golden retriever, but I do personally want a chocolate lab or a Dalmatian. And I've been doing a lot of movies lately, and I actually have my very first documentary that I'm going to be shooting in the next couple of weeks. And, and that's just something that I've been doing, something I, that, that I've found a passion for, something to keep myself busy. And ever since Transformers 1, I've always wanted a Camaro. So that's going to be my dream car, and that's going to be a little bit further out. So I'm, I put it in the medium term goals. One of the things that I do want to focus on, it honestly should be up in the short term goals as well is my fitness and my weight. I'm starting to gain some pounds. So I do want to start looking at fixing that. In my long-term goals, I have the words youth center here. And for my whole career, I've worked with youth. Um, before I was working with high-risk youth and before that I was working with children in domestic violence situations. So it's always been a passion of mine. And I eventually do want to open my own trauma-informed youth center. Again, we have more of the fitness goals and maybe I might find love in the future, who knows? Going with the flow with that as well. But I do want to talk about these and they stretch across my short, medium and long-term goals. And that's because I've always thought of myself as kind of a mover, making waves in the community. Cause I know a lot of people and all those people have professional skills. And I find that I'm in the position where if someone needs something, I know someone who can do that, so I can make those connections. So I do kind of want to keep that up in my short, medium, and long-term life because I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of that. I'm able to make those connections between people. So thank you.